Well, Peyton Bowen has had an absolutely interesting last couple of hours. First off, he started off as a Notre Dame Fighting Irish commit. He decommitted. And he then went to the U of O, and now he's at OU? Oklahoma came out of nowhere to snipe the second best safety in the country, five-star recruit Peyton Bowen. This is a massive... Oklahoma needed a big-time recruiting win. And it also makes sense because Oklahoma's before this... Or actually, Oklahoma's highest-ranked recruit is Jackson Arnold, who is actually teammates with Peyton Bowen. So he probably had a little bit of insider recruiting help to help get Peyton Bowen over to uh, over, over to OU. But all my Oklahoma fans, leave this video a like and comment down below because you guys got one of the best, just pure safeties in the class. The kid is rangy. He is ridiculously fast, as you guys can see. He can cover well. He can catch. Whatever you need him to do, Peyton Bowen can do it. But I'm telling you, it's so weird. He went from he went from U of O to OU. Like that's wild. Like first off, no, the Notre Dame flip. I'm not gonna say it made sense, but it kind of does make sense. Not the Notre Dame kind of fell off a lot come the end of the recruiting cycle. But then Oregon came out of absolutely nowhere and got his got his verbal on early National Signing Day, and then two days later he's an Oklahoma Sooner. I'm telling you, I think Jackson Arnold, hey, all my Oklahoma fans, be sure to go leave a uh, go leave a like on Jackson Arnold's page. Go show him some love because he had to have done a great job of recruiting him over to Oklahoma because I don't really see any other reason why he would have gone, not any other reason why he would have gone to Oklahoma, but he was looking just between Notre Dame and Oregon, and then all of a sudden Oklahoma came out of nowhere. So, hey, big time recruiting win, uh, none, none other. Again, Brent Venables, this is going to be a piece that Brent Venables could really use. This is a guy that you could really not necessarily build your defense around, but it is a guy that could be a cornerstone of your defense, a guy that you could trust to cover in space, a guy that a utility player that you can that you know can be the center fielder of your defense. Yeah, Peyton Bowen, this dude, he absolutely whatever you need him to do, he's covering it, he's locking it up. Like, and then again, the speed, he is ridiculously fast. I don't think you realize how fast he is until you see, until like you're on the field and you're like, whoa, like he's moving a lot faster than I, than I think. Like it doesn't look like on, on the film, like he's running like some crazy speed, but then all of a sudden he just starts pulling away from everybody. Yeah. Peyton Bowen, he's him. Now, all my Oregon fans, I know, I know it's a little bit tough. I, Oregon was about to have one of the best early signing day periods that we've ever seen from any team, as far as just getting a bunch of talent to go to Oregon at the last second. But even still, you guys picked up Austin Novasad and Mateo Uyunglele and Dalen Austin. All those guys are going to be great additions to the Oregon Oregon Ducks um, 2023 recruiting class. But all my Oklahoma Sooner fans, comment down below. What are your guys' thoughts and expectations going into next season? Obviously, it's going to be Brent Venable's second season there. He's going to have his first full recruiting class that he's developed. Overall, Brent Venables has done a good job of replacing Lincoln Riley's shoes, in my opinion. Obviously, it's really hard to live up to what Lincoln Riley was doing. But I do think that he's on, he's on the right pace. It's just all my, all my Oklahoma Sooner fans, what are your guys' thoughts? Again, just a center fielder. You cannot get anything past him. Great discipline right here. Phenomenal discipline right here. Stop. As soon as he sees it, just undercut that. Psh, give me that. Oh, you got to come down with that pick, though. You got to come down with that pick, though. So that is what the Oklahoma Sooners newest five-star recruit Peyton Bowen is looking like on the field. So far, two out of the three five-star recruits going to Oklahoma are both from Guyer High School. So again, Jackson Arnold must have done a really good job of recruiting Peyton Bowen over to OU. This is a massive recruiting win for Oklahoma to come last second and to be able to snipe a player of a Peyton Bowen's magnitude is a massive indication that Oklahoma is starting to trend in the right direction because... I'm not gonna lie, Oklahoma was having a rough early signing day. I mean, Texas was kind of just taking whoever they wanted. And now, obviously, showing that Oklahoma still has some pull, especially in the state of Texas. But I wanna hear from y'all. What are your guys' thoughts on this move? 
be sure to leave this video a like, comment down below your thoughts, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything OU related because we're going to be dropping OU's top five recruits on offense and defense and their top five recruits overall as, as well as my favorite recruits that you guys brought in. So be sure to leave, all the, uh, leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.